Hi, okay, so we wanted to come live to show you how we are going to chalk paint these wood beads to make a home decor garland. So do you know what I mean? We're going to take the beads, paint them, and then run some twine through the bead, and then it'll be a garland. And on ours, I'll actually add a metal heart to the end. And I found that the easiest way to paint these without really using a paintbrush is just to roll it in the paint like this. And, oh my word. And you can, so you can roll it in the paint a little bit. And now he's gonna off roll it onto the paper towel. Like that. Hold on, let me um, remind my kids in the background that I'm doing a video. Hey girls, I'm doing a video. I should have probably pre-warned him. It's craft day today on a Saturday. And they're over there making slime and we are putting together our wood bead garlands. So I'm interested to know how you guys might paint your wood beads. I just have found that this is a super easy way. I know it's a little bit messy. You could wear some gloves. But we're actually not in the shop today. We're down at the house and the shop has the gloves. So <laughs> he's just, uh, we're just kind of getting it done without the gloves. So I'm going to see if I can get a different view here so you can see him offloading. Uh, hold on, give me just a second. Okay. See how it gets real thick on the paint there? Okay, and then he's just going to offload the extra paint on the paper towel. And the nice thing about chalk paint is it dries so fast and it gives it that nice matte finish. And once they're all dry, and then on the um, string. I'm going to actually lightly sand these wood beads just so they're a little bit distressed. I like a little bit of variation instead of having the wood beads a solid paint. And so there they are. We start with wood, give them a little paint job, and voila, they're white wood beads for our home decor garlands. And then once I get enough of these made, I'm going to post them in my shop at Holstrom Home. Um, I did one set the other day and it sold immediately after I posted it, so I thought maybe I would do some more. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and um, feel free to watch a rerun if you think you're interested in making these yourself. You know, you can buy these um, beads, thanks, you can buy these beads on Amazon. And I did find these at my local craft warehouse, but I have noticed that like Walmart doesn't carry this size bead, this is a one inch bead. Um, and I do like that little bit bigger size. Should I get a little closer so you can kind of see exactly how big that is? Um, yeah, see, you can go smaller if you want. I just like that big chunky look. So um, I found Amazon's pretty handy. It ships to you in three days and voila, you know, you start getting crafty. And I think you can get like a bag of 50 of them too for, I want to say maybe it was $8.99. And I want to say this little bag of 16 was like $3.99 at my local craft store. So not just, they're not cheap, just, you know, at the local craft store. But um, it's a fun project and just wanted to share it with you guys. So again, thanks for watching and um, we'll come back at you with another fun little DIY here next week. All right.